Matt gave you a musical reference before. Yeah. Mine would be simply the kids, the young kids are all right. Oh, yeah, you're talking about the who. And you know who I've been looking at? Uh, that, that's Jaden Daniels. And Jaden Daniels, he did not play a perfect game because um, he did throw an interception. But the way that he plays, he plays with composure and control. And he can give it to you at any type of way you want it. He can leave the pocket and use his legs, still keeping his eyes upfield, allowing wide receivers to make big plays because I'm running two routes if the quarterback is scrambling. And then he could also run right and just say, you know what, I'm going to take off because I'm faster than most of your skilled players. But even traditional drop back play, he can still do that as well. I just love the fact that he plays with the same type of composure game in and game out. And his completion percentage, leading the NFL at 77%. Wow. That's 5% higher than the next QB in the league. Yeah. This is supposed to be a rookie who's supposed to struggle right in front of our eyes, but he's not. 100%. You, you're, you're hitting it on. The completion percentage is high, but they're pushing it down the field at different times, no too, doubt. right? Yeah. And he's making these big chunk plays. I want to give Cliff, King, uh, Cliff Kingsbury a little bit of credit, yeah. right? We, you, I think he's done an excellent job of kind of surrounding Jaden with some pieces to do what he can do best. Not asking him to do too much. You look back at that first week he played, he ran the ball a lot. We were all saying, oh, he's running too much. He's not throwing it. I thought it was a really good job in the first four weeks of this season getting him to a place where he feels really comfortable. He's played exceptionally well. And I think for both of these guys, you talk about Caleb, too. You look at his numbers. He threw the ball 29 times, I think 20 sometimes last week. When you look at Caleb Williams, Think about week one. He threw the ball 50-some times. He took tremendous hits in that game. So they kind of allowed him to take some of that pressure off him. And I'll tell you what, Caleb Williams is looking like the game is slowing down a little bit. Yes. Right? I mean, you as a quarterback, and Nate, you know that your first game, the game slows down. You yeah. seem like going through progressions, comfortable in the pocket, reading defenses, knowing exactly where to go with the ball, and then all of a sudden finding and all of a sudden a, a, a guy like D.J. Moore. Like, all of a sudden you get that connection. Now I'm in trouble. I'm going to throw it up for that guy because he can make a play. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to shout out Shane Waldron, too. Shane has yeah. taken heat in, right. in the first three or four weeks of the season. Shane Waldron, the offensive coordinator for, for the Chicago Bears, has taken a lot of heat. I thought today it looked like what they want the offense yeah. to look like moving forward. Him comfortable making decisions, getting guys some separation. Both these guys less than 30 pass attempts today, yeah. which is the magic number, and each of them – making people pay on the ground. Caleb had five rushes for 34 yards, too. Mm -hmm. The ability to use your legs as a young player is huge. Yeah, and it just goes to show you, you got to give these young guys some time. Yes. You can't jump in after a couple of weeks of them playing in the NFL and make a judgment on how good they will be. It, it takes time for not only the quarterback to gain his confidence, but the team to figure yes. out how to play with a young quarterback, understanding his strengths and weaknesses. As a wide receiver, I'm going to be patient with my young QB, and then by the time it gets to the middle of the season, we'll We'll be on the same page, and that's what you're seeing with Caleb Williams and Jaden Daniels and those skill players that they're playing with. And coaches, don't ask them to do too much too early. Yeah. Yep. You know, yeah. ease them into the game for the speed of the game, understanding all the idiosyncrasies of what you're trying to get done on that thing. So, yeah, it's also on the coaches, too, to ease them into it. And then no doubt. do their thing. Absolutely. No doubn't. Being a native Washingtonian, I know there were so many people who were hoping that Caleb Williams might be there because he played in Washington. They're not upset no. <laughs> yeah. at all. Yeah. And Wayne Fiddleman, our colleague, said, you know what? There's a fresh air blowing through. Yeah. I think it's more than a strong wind. <laughs> hey, folks, we will see you next week right here on the NFL Today.